For this series, I've picked three what I've called pretty simple routines. The first one is two players, one at the back, one at the front. Player at the back drives the ball to themselves. They then drop the ball from the back of the court to the front. The person at the front of the court drops the ball to themselves and then they drive the ball to the back and that continues. Sounds simple, not as easy as it sounds. Being able to drop that ball from the back of the court to the front is a real skill. Lots of club players really struggle with that straight drop from the back. Most players have no problem driving the ball from the front to the back. And I think if we think about coaching, most coaches anchor themselves at the back of the court. First things you do when you get on the squash court is bludgeon the ball to the back of the court. I like this practice because it brings in the softer skill. It allows the player at the front of the court to feel the ball and then lift the ball to the back and allows the player at the back of the court really to start to develop that, that softer skill of being able to take the ball to the front of the court with a soft drop shot. The practice that we're looking at, as I say, was filmed previously at St George's with uh, Tom Richards and Joe Lee. They both execute, as you would imagine, this practice perfectly. So what we see, we see Joe getting nice and low in the hips, playing a lovely straight drop with a little, little bit of gentle movement out. Tom doesn't actually feed the ball to himself. He actually puts the ball in, pushes the ball to the back. Again, Joe getting nice and low in the hips, pushing the ball to the front, and obviously you switch this and do this on the other side. As you can see from the routine that Tom and uh, Joe are doing, they're obviously executing the practice really well. Um, there, there is movement. Uh, Joe is actually getting you know, towards the back of the service box after his drive, and, and, and Tom is actually recovering, recovering towards the tee after his drive from the front. General problems you find with the clubhouse, they tend to be very static. Uh, they, don't, they don't tend to be moving with the ball. Um, there tends to be this, this not being able to drop the knees and bend at the waist. They tend to just bend over, so then impacting on, on what actually happens with the racket face. It looks real when Tom and Joe do it. It looks like it, it, it could almost be a rally. They are really working on precision, weight of shot, height on the front wall, accuracy. These things you need to be thinking about all the time. Otherwise, as I said previously, you know, what, what are you actually practicing? There needs to be a purpose. There needs to be relevance to what you're trying to achieve. You're looking for varying height on the front wall. You're looking for different racket angles. You're gonna make mistakes. It is a safe environment. I think routines are a safe environment. I don't mean safe as in not getting hit. I mean safe as in you should be allowed to explore and express yourself with routine. Try different racket angles, try different racket preparations, try different follow-throughs. One of the key things that I've mentioned before in, on previous videos is actually this, this ability to actually hit through the line of the ball. And I think Joe does that ex extremely well. He racket head follows the line of the ball. He wants to be able to guide the ball to the front of the court. He wants to take the ball in with weight and purpose. Tendency with, the, with your club player, they stop at the shot and the ball starts to bounce all over the place. Control the ball, feel the ball. Hopefully that will give you a little bit more to focus on when you come to do the simple drop, drive, drive, drop routine.